Every single time. What is up guys? It's your man twice the wise with another video for all of y'all. So today uh, we're gonna be talking about a math problem. Okay, alright, alright, I, I can hear you because obviously you, me, both of us, everyone hates mathematics, right? Who loves mathematics? Mathematicians love mathematics. But let me tell you this, even mathematicians hate this problem. It's called the Collatz Conjecture, all right? So, basically, it is a uh, small math problem, right? That even mathematicians hate because they cannot find the solution to that problem. It boggles the mind. I mean, people have solved so many complex sums, but they cannot figure out the reason behind this simple, really, really simple problem. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. All right, so basically you have to take any positive integer, all right, one, two, three, four, up to infinity, any positive integer, and let's call it n, all right? Let's say n is even, all right? If it's even, you have to divide it by two, and then if it's odd, you have to multiply it by three and then add one. So basically if it's even, it's n by two, if it's odd, it's three n plus one, all right? After doing this, you'll come to another number. Now, you apply the same set of rules to that number, and then again, and then again, again, and again, and again, and eventually, you will always end up in the same final sequence, which is four, two, one. You will always end up there. Now, if you apply the same thing to one, three n plus one will give you four, and then again, 4 by 2 is 2, 2 by 2 is 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1. Every single time. And nobody knows why. Alright, let me, let me, I'm going to demonstrate this um, by writing a small Python program for you guys. I'm going to uh, set up a number, alright, n. We'll take 51, okay? We'll take 51 as an example. And now we're going to set up another variable called count, which is equal to zero, so that um, we can count how many steps it takes to reach the number one. Like blah, 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 blah. four, two, one. We want to reach one. That is the goal. Now we'll put while n is not equal to one. Sorry, not equal to one. And we have to check whether it's even. So if n modulo to equal to zero. Now, if it's even, we have to divide it by two. So n equals n by two. Now, if it's odd, we have to multiply it by three and then add one, all right? So I'll put parentheses, brackets to, um, you know, distinguish that. So it's e if it's even, we have to multiply it by, sorry, divide it by two, and if it's odd, we have to multiply it by three and then add one, right? So now, after this, we will count plus equals one, print n, all right? And then, at the end, we'll put, uh, it took um, count steps to read one. I'll print n just for convenience, right? Just a minute. All right, now let's run it. So here we go. It starts with 51. And then it goes all the way down and reaches one. So it took, it took 24 steps to reach one. Now, let's try another number, let's say uh, 65, just trying it, we'll run it, 65, 196, 98, 49, 148, blah, 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 all the way, it comes to 1, it took 27 steps, boom, it always reaches 1. Now let's try a number like 27, n equals 27, we do that, again, it starts with 27, goes all the way, and I think this is a little bit longer than the previous two numbers that we tried, it goes up to thousands and comes down. Somehow it reaches one. It took 111 steps. All right. So 
I have to tell you that no matter what, no matter how many steps it takes to cover, it will always reach one. I hope this was uh, informative for you guys because maybe you have the solution to this problem. And if you do, please put it in the comments below so that you and I, we can become rich. Okay, I'm, I'm being selfish. Um, not me, but obviously you can become rich, right? So, rack that brain, guys. Peace out. Oh!